Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about 3x3 three three hill ciphers and we're just going to jump right into an example because the philosophy of 3x3 three three hill ciphers are very similar and basically the same um, as the 2x2 two two ones, uh, only that the math is going to be just a tad bit more complicated uh, and especially in the decoding part, but uh, when we're doing the encryption part of it, it's just going to be very straightforward. So let's just dive right in. So we have a key and we're going to encode inventory. So first up, we always write down the numbers that each letter has been mapped onto. Cool. And here's the first difference between 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three hill ciphers. Uh, instead of grouping the letters into numbers of two, we're going to group them by threes. Cool. And then we have the key, so we're just going to dive right in and say, um, so we're going to write down the key first. And we do multi multiplication with starting with the first three letters. So remember your calculator, that will be very helpful once you get some larger numbers. Again, so we're going to do 4 multiplied by 8, adding on 7 multiplied by 13, and 9 multiplied by 21. It's kind of a dot product of this horizontal row and this vertical column. And then once this one is over, we move on to the next row. We're going to calculate. And then we're going to put them into forms of mod 26s. Then we can transfer them directly back into letters. And now we move on to the next. We do this whole thing again. And voila! So Let's put it into horizontal form. And this is your encoded version of inventory with a 3x3 matrix.